Hey, hi, hello, my friends. It's Christy with 4AM Junk Journals. Today is Friday, so we are once again on the case. This is round four of the hashtag on the case 2023 challenge. We are in week two of the case of who killed the Schaefers, in which we are trying to discover who killed Jack and Tiffany Schaefer. Um, we are set in Cypress Ridge, Texas, uh, in current day, uh, well, actually a little ahead because we haven't quite made it to Thanksgiving yet, um, but this crime takes place on November 23rd, 2023, and um, so yeah, let's just jump right in. Uh, Cypress Ridge, Texas, November 24th, 2023. Breaking news, new details emerge in Cypress Ridge fire tragedy. This comes from the Texas Times, and it says, In a case that has gripped the community of Cypress Ridge, new details have emerged in the tragic fire that claimed the lives of Jack and Tiffany Schaefer at their Oakwood Avenue residence on Thanksgiving evening. The revelation comes in the wake of the release of a 911 call made by the Schaefer's neighbor, David Teller, which provided a chilling glimpse into the unfolding tragedy. Teller's call to 911 conveyed the urgency of the situation, his concern for the Schaefer's, and the intense nature of the blaze that engulfed their home. In the transcript of the 911 call, Teller's voice trembled with fear as he reported the fire emphasized the need for immediate assistance, and expressed his worries about the Schaefer's possibly being inside the burning structure. Subsequent to the release of the 911 call, our news team obtained access to a transcript of the police interview with David Teller, who was the first to report the fire to authorities. Teller's interview with Inspector Elizabeth Walker highlighted his observations of the fire's progression, the courageous actions of the firefighters, and the distressing discoveries made within the Schaefer's home. Teller's cooperation and prompt action in alerting the authorities to the fire have been essential to the ongoing investigation, which is now under the jurisdiction of Inspector, Walk of Inspector Walker. The police department is actively working to uncover the truth behind the events of that fateful Thanksgiving evening. Additionally, a portion of the fire incident report was released detailing the efforts of the Cypress Ridge Fire Department, led by Fire Chief Samuel Bennett. The report chronicles the challenging conditions faced by the first responders and their discovery of the victims within the smoke and flames. As the investigation progresses, the community is left with many unanswered questions, and the tragedy has left a profound impact on all who knew the Schaefers. The Texas Times will continue to follow this developing story closely, providing updates on the investigation and its implications for the Cypress Ridge community. Okay, so um, we know that there has been a release of the 911 call. Um, there's been a release of an interview uh, with David Teller, who um, apparently uh, made that initial 911 call. But we're not getting any details here. Um, no real information other than we get the name of the fire chief, um, Samuel Bennett. Um, but we're not getting anything new, really. Then uh, It's basically a lot of the same information we already had um, with the additional information that these reports have been released, right? So let's go ahead and jump over to the Lone Star Tribune and see if they had something to add to that. Breaking news from the Lone Star Tribune, exclusive, shocking details uncovered in Cypress Ridge tragedy. Cypress Ridge, Texas, November 24th, 2023. In an exclusive report, the Lone Star Tribune has obtained shocking details surrounding the tragic fire that claimed the lives of Jack and Tiffany Schaefer at their Oakwood Avenue residence on Thanksgiving night. The information comes from a source close to the ongoing investigation. Contrary to initial reports, our exclusive source reveals that the Schaefers were found bound to their dining room chairs. 
This revelation adds a chilling layer to the already distressing circumstances surrounding the incident. The Lone Star Tribune source, who requested anonymity due to the sensitivity of the investigation, provides a crucial perspective on the events that transpired within the Schaefer's home. The binding of the victims suggests a level of premeditation that investigators are now scrutinizing closely. In addition to this shocking revelation, the Lone Star Tribune has learned that the Schaefer's have a daughter, Emily, who is a student at Texas A&M University and College Station. Our source confirms that, that Emily has been notified of the tragic event and is making arrangements to return home. The news of Emily's return has sent ripples of sympathy throughout the community, and our hearts go out to her during this difficult time. The Cypress Ridge community is left in shock and mourning as the investigation into the circumstances of the fire intensifies. The Lone Star Tribune will continue to provide exclusive coverage of this tragic event, bringing you the latest updates as the investigation unfolds and shedding light on the complex details that have emerged. Okay, lots more information here. Um, we've learned that uh, the Schaefer's were found tied to their chairs, tied to their dining room chairs, rather than just seated calmly at the table, which again, um, as one of the detectives pointed out, you know, nobody's going to sit calmly at their dining room table while a fire erupts around them, right? Um, so now we know that they were found actually bound to their chairs. Um, we've also learned that they have a daughter, uh, Emily, who is a student at Texas A&M. Um, she is on her way home. Hopefully we can get some more information from her very soon. Um, and question kind of why she wasn't there being as it was Thanksgiving. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're going to leave it for today. Um, and so the junk journal detectives that are currently confirmed on the case are Brianna Jenkins, Carol McCready, Karen Betts, Kelly Landon, Leslie Ford, Rochelle from the Passionate Sticker Hall, Tara from Sassy Paper Palace, and T. Ewing. If you're not on the list, but you want to play along, drop me a comment below and I'll add you to the list. If I missed you, I am so, so sorry. Please uh, leave me another comment and say, hey, you missed me, and I'll be sure you get on the list. All right, detectives, it's that time. It's time to ask your questions. And just as a reminder, put those questions down in the comments below the YouTube video and we will come in and answer them there. So it's time to ask your questions. See, I have to do my sing song voice, right? <laughs> Fill your case books, make some art, have some fun, and become the greatest junk journal detective in the world. I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.